The biggest cheating scandals in Major League Baseball history. In the 130 years since the establishment of Major League Baseball, there have been loads of exciting and headliner events in the league. While most were about the outstanding performances of players on the diamond, others, not so much. Major League Baseball has seen some cheating scandals that will never be forgotten. So in this video, we'll be taking you through the 10 biggest scandals in Major League Baseball history. Number 10, Pete Rose's lifetime ban. If you're one of those younger baseball fans, you may or may not know the name of the legendary Pete Rose. He was one of the game's greatest players, one of only two players in baseball history with over 4,000 hits and the all-time hit leader. However, in May 1989, some dirt came out on Rose, dirt that turned out to be unredeemable. Special counsel John Dowd submitted a 225-page report to the Major League Baseball commissioner revealing many of Pete Rose's gambling escapades. It was just three years after his retirement and Rose had taken up a manager role with the Cincinnati Reds at the time of the report. There was no proof of Rose betting on his own team, but he definitely did bet a lot on baseball and even on games he was managing as a coach. The Dowd report implied Pete Rose bet on 52 Cincinnati Reds games in 1987 at a minimum of $10,000 per day. But since he had retired from playing, Pete was permanently banned from ever entering the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. Without this gambling scandal, he most assuredly would have been given that honor. Number 9. The Corked Bat Incident Baseball in the 90s was really going crazy. We'll give them that because this scandal would easily pass as the script for a TV miniseries. It was a game in July 1994 at Comiskey Park in Chicago as the Cleveland Indians faced off against the Chicago White Sox. During the first inning, White Sox manager Gene Lamont got a tip that Indian star batter Albert Bell was using a corked baseball bat to make his bat lighter. Under the rules of Major League Baseball, a manager can challenge one opponent's baseball bat per game. So with the tip off, Lamont challenged Bell's bat. The umpire, Dave Phillips, confiscated the bat and locked it up in the umpire's dressing room to examine it later. But that's when things got a bit more interesting. Since the Indians knew the bat was corked and there would be a lot of embarrassment and a big punishment if the truth was uncovered, they deployed relief pitcher Jason Grimsley to retrieve and switch the bat in the umpire's room. It was really the stuff action movies are made of, with Grimsley crawling through ceilings with a flashlight in his mouth and all that. Grimsley succeeded. Sort of. He switched out Bell's bat with teammate Paul Sereno's bat, but he left more than enough traces like clumps of ceiling on the floor and fingerprints all over the place for Major League Baseball and a former FBI agent flown in for the case to know something was wrong. And the bat he put in the umpire's room was stamped with Paul Sereno's signature. That's what happens when you do a Mission Impossible without Tom Cruise and without any criminal experience. Eventually, the Indians had to budge and Bell was suspended for 10 games that still remains one notorious cheating scandal. Number 8. The 1877 Louisville Grays Scandal Just in case you didn't know, gambling goes way back in the history of Major League Baseball, and by way back, we're talking about the 1860s and 70s. The incident, believed by many to have been the first case of players throwing games, was in the 1877 season. The Louisville Grays were having an impressive season with a record of 25-13. They were looking good for a 32-game lead over Boston with 22 games left in the season. It was all going great. Until suddenly, the Grays went on a seven-game tailspin. It was a crazy losing streak that included four straight to Boston to knock themselves out of first place. Turns out, Grays pitcher Jim Devlin, outfielder George Hall, utility player Al Nichols, and shortstop Bill Carver were all in on the plan to throw games and make some money for themselves. Long story short, they all got lifetime bans. The team was unable to continue and ended up having to fold after that season. This definitely isn't the last of such gambling cases in this video. Number seven, the pine tar incident. Moving on, we have another case of a bad bat that made the news. Like Bell's cork bat incident, it took just one game for this cheating scandal to go down in history. In July, 1983, the visiting Kansas City Royals were trailing four to three with two outs in the top of the ninth in a game being played against the New York Yankees. George Brett hit a two-run home run for the Kansas City Royals. Yankees manager Billy Martin asked umpire Tim McClellan to inspect Brett's bat. McClellan ruled there was too much pine tar on Brett's bat and nullified the home run, which ended the game and handed a 5-4 loss to the Royals. The Royals appealed the ruling and the umpire's decision on the field was actually reversed. Turns out the pine tar was in place not to prevent a player from an unfair advantage in hitting, but to prevent baseballs from becoming discolored. 
In light of this, American League President Lee McPhail ordered the game to be finished. So the game was resumed in August and Brett didn't even show up for the continuation of the game. But at the end of the day, because of the appeal and the game being finished, the Royals actually won. Number 6. The Mitchell Report If there's one thing that really paints a picture for baseball's steroid era, it's the Mitchell Report. Released in December 2007, the 409-page report named 89 players who allegedly used performance-enhancing drugs. The report's names practically consisted of a who's who of baseball. Gary Sheffield, Jason Giambi, and Barry Bonds were in the Balco section. Others included Kevin Brown, Roger Clemens, Eric Gagne, Andy Pettit, and Miguel Tejada, just to name a few. This report definitely shifted the landscape of baseball, and there is a lot of hate for many of these players because of their steroid use. Number 5. The Cardinals Hacking Scandal While many of these scandals date back to the 90s, this is one from the more recent years. In 2016, it was discovered that the St. Louis Cardinals had it in for the Houston Astros. An FBI investigation uncovered that the Cardinals scouting director, Chris Correa, had hacked into the Houston Astros player database by guessing the password of a formal Cardinals employee who left to work with the Houston Astros in 2011. Looking for what? Well, his hack gave him access to the accounts of five Astros employees, including Houston's general manager, Jeff Lanau. Correa read emails, went through Houston's scout reports on amateur players, and even took a peek into the Astros' ratings of draft-eligible players. It was straight-up corporate espionage, and it cost the Cardinals their top two draft picks in the 2017 draft, a Major League Baseball $2 million fine paid to the Astros, and Correa was sentenced to 46 months in prison. Number 4. The 1917-1918 World Series Suspensions the New York Giants lost to the Chicago White Sox in the 1917 World Series, and no one was mad at that because that's how the game goes. You lose some, you win some. But what raised suspicion was the manner in which the Giants lost that game, with Heine Zimmerman fumbling the key play of the final game. It took a couple of years to be uncovered, but it was eventually revealed that Zimmerman and his corrupt teammate Hal Chase had thrown the game. That's right, they intentionally lost the World Series for some cash and got lifetime bans for it. But just a year later, the Cubs lost the 1918 series in a sparsely attended affair that oozed match-fixing. World War I was all over the news, so it didn't get as much attention, but it opened the door to what comes up as number one on our list. But before that, check out these other two insane cheating scandals. Number three, the Steinbrenner-Winfield feud. This list won't be complete without a case of literal cheating based on money. George Steinbrenner was always a controversial figure in Major League Baseball until his death, but things got dirtier when the Yankees owner signed Dave Winfield on a 10-year term as a free agent in 1980. Steinbrenner and Winfield had agreed on a $15 million contract, but Steinbrenner didn't take note of the cost-of-living clauses on the deal that brought up the total worth of the contract up to $23 million. Trading Winfield wasn't as easy as you'd expect because of the outfielder's status as a three-time All-Star. So from suing Winfield's charity foundation to hiring not-so-trustworthy people to gather dirt on Winfield, it was a big mess. Years went by and things only got worse. Steinbrenner's hands got dirtier, and he was eventually given a lifetime ban from the game. It was only then that Winfield allowed himself to be traded. The two did reconcile before Steinbrenner's death, but it remains one of the biggest cheating scandals in Major League Baseball history. Now for the big two. Number 2. The Houston Astros Sign-Stealing Scheme As we approach the tail end of our video, this is the most recent of these scandals. In 2019, an investigation revealed that the 2017 World Series champion Houston Astros had used a camera to illegally steal signs from opponents at home games. It was a former Astros player, Mike Fayers, who blew the whistle on the scheme. They used a center field camera to send feed of the opposing catcher's sign to a TV monitor in the tunnel. This sign was then decoded, and a trash can in the tunnel was hit to make a loud noise to communicate what pitch was coming. We agree, it's an interesting setup, and it worked for 101 games and eventually helped the Astros win the 2017 World Series. When the scheme was discovered, there was a $5 million fine, the Astros were stripped of first and second round picks in the 2020 and 2021 drafts, and the manager and GM both lost their jobs. And now for the biggest cheating scandal ever. Number 1. The 1919 Black Sox World Series Scandal It's one thing to scheme to win the World Series, it's another to scheme to lose it. That's what the Chicago White Sox did in 1919. 
They conspired to lose that year's fall classic to the Cincinnati Reds after a group of players approached some corporate gamblers with this offer. To make it a bit less thrown, the White Sox won three games in the best of eight series, but the whole affair was blown open in a trial in 1921. After a series of investigations from 1920, White Sox owner Charles Comiskey, who was in on the throw, and other baseball owners decided to appoint Kennesaw Mountain Landis as the league's first commissioner to clean up the dirt. Eight White Sox players, including star hitter Shoeless Joe Jackson, were handed lifetime bans. Crazy. There you have it, the 10 biggest cheating scandals in Major League Baseball history. Which of these shocks you the most? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.